Not long ago, Google released the AI model NanoBanana, turned viral for its groundbreaking image editor. What we didn't expect was that straight after another serious competitor to be released, which claims to be even better. This model is called SeaDream 4.0 by ByteDance, the company behind TikTok. This is a state-of-the-art image generator and editor. Notably, its ability to create multiple views from the same image with great consistency and can generate up to 4K. In this video, I will take you through examples and side-by-side -side comparisons with Nano Banana so that you can see the differences for yourself and try out these workflows, especially with these benchmarking claims against other models shown here. At the end of the video, I will show you how you can access and use both these AI models for free and via APIs. To start, it is worth mentioning that SeaDream is also a very good image generator. Our Nano Banana is mainly an image editor. So off the bat, I can ask to create an architectural poster demonstrating passive house principles. And both the visual and factual outputs are really good. The principles are basic, but nicely displayed. And I don't see any spelling mistakes or weird letters. SeaDream is also able to draw on data from the internet. So I've asked to draw a diagram illustrating the world's top five tallest buildings. I fact checked these with Wikipedia, and the heights are correctly matching the buildings. What you will notice is that it does not include the Murdecker 118, as it was built in 2024. And so you can see that it has taken outdated info. So it is important to bear this in mind. But now you can pick any topic and not just visual images. So this is great for slides and also infographics. So I'll start with a simple one, changing daytime to nighttime. I've used this day image of a house and prompted change the reference image from daytime to nighttime. Immediately, there's a big difference in colors and ambient lighting. And a banana has more realistic water and reflections with a nicely lit night sky. While Sea Dream has more very turquoise looking water and almost black sky. However, ignoring the colors, both kept the original architecture quite the same. In this case, I prefer actually the Nano Banana result. Next is the powerful workflow of image to multiple view angles. I prompted use this reference image, make a perspective looking down at the building from Aerial. But from this elevation, we have generated two very different angles. Sea Dream has gone for a more dramatic aerial perspective, which I like. Our Nano Banana has kept more to the original elevation and just moved the camera up more. Generally, I've noticed that Nano Banana follows the prompt and reference more literally than Sea Dream, so this can help you decide on which model to use. I've tried to push the model some more, and I've asked, create a view looking down the staircase in this reference. In this instance, Nano Banana did not manage to produce anything different, while Sea Dream has created a very wide perspective and dramatic view down the spiral. So in relation to making various perspectives and different views, Sea Dream does a better job for now. Style transfers, very useful for illustrations. May I test a photo to watercolor style? Prompt is change this reference image into an architectural watercolor style painting. There are two very different interpretations of the watercolors. Sea Dream is more artistic, lighter. Our Nano Banana has gone for more a literal generation, adhering closer to the original reference. As an illustration, I prefer Sea Dream. But if you're looking for a more detailed and realistic version, Nano Banana would win in this case. Mood boards. You can use reference images and try to extract information from them. Useful for material selection and interior design. Generally, both models don't do too well at annotations, as they often find it difficult to match the reference to the correct text. So let's see how far we can push it. I'll use the prompt, create an architectural mood board from the input image. Have the photo in the center and surround it with key materials, colors, add annotations for the materials and what part it is used for. Now in relation to material extraction, both have done an impressive job at first glance. Sea Dream has added more of a color palette, our Nano Banana has stuck to only textures which are in the reference. Now for text, Sea Dream has produced nonsense, so that's no good, while our Nano Banana has done a decent job at making text match the materials. There does seem to be a few made up words and spelling mistakes, but some materials like the marble, fabric, and wood is correct. And as for the center image, Nano Banana has kept it exactly the same as the reference, 
our Sea Dream has created a nice perspective version of it. Once again, this is one of Sea Dream's strong points, which it seems to take advantage of. In terms of composition, Sea Dream is better. However, in terms of annotations, Nano Banana does a better job here. Plan to 3D is another interesting AI workflow. I've used a complex example as the reference for the plan and prompted create an extruded 3D plan from this architectural ground floor plan of a HQ ground floor designed by Zaha Hadid Architects. Now, both models have followed the outline very well. Main difference is that Nano Banana has added some color to the cladding, which makes it look amazing, actually. We take a closer look at the details. It would also seem that Nano Banana has added more definition in areas, such as the rooms and auditoriums. I have to say that Nano Banana does a better job in this instance. Now time for some 3D, specifically creating 3D isometrics, which are great to be used in AI 3D workflows. The prompt is create a clean rendered isometric model with no background of the main building in this reference image. CGM has done a very clean image, no background at all and no shadows and no perspective distortion. Nano Banana, on the other hand, has added some perspective on the form. There's a tint to the background and some shadow. So here, for a cleaner image, Sea Dream is the winner. Image composition. One of my favorite workflows for architecture and design is using multiple images for compositions and montages. You can upload a variety of images and prompt to combine them into one cohesive image. The prompt I'm using is combine the reference images and generate a landscape architectural photo white camera, and day shot. Both have done a rather beautiful job. They've taken very different compositions, but both performed the montage very well. Sea Dream has a more wide perspective with an artistic framing of the scene of the trees, while Nano Banana has kept more of a similar composition to the reference, placing the building on the left rock edge. Once again, if you want the generation to follow the references more closely, I recommend Nano Banana. Or for more creativity and striking perspectives, try out Sea Dream. Creating a wooden 3D model from a reference image has recently become a popular AI workflow as well. Here is the prompt I used. Make a wooden detailed architectural 3D model from this reference and place it on a studio desk. Now we have a big difference in the two. Sea Dream has made a very detailed background with what you would expect of a busy studio and even added in some lighting at the side here. Our Nano Banana has stripped the background bare. Also take note of the different perspectives. Sea Dream follows the initial reference composition more closely. Which you choose for this workflow is up to your taste and how clean you want the scene to be. The classic sketch to image is not a good benchmark. In the prompt, I've chosen to add more details for materials and structure to see how the AI models can follow them. The prompt goes transform this architectural sketch into a photorealistic modern mixed-use tower, and I've added in some details and daylighting and shadows. Now both have understood the prompt very well, and the reference images have followed the building shape closely. However, there are some very big differences. Firstly, quality-wise, Nano Banana does a much better job, with the glass facades, steel structure and ground floor retail and even the roads much better quality. Sea Dream is clearly lacking in these areas. In the sketch, I used a wide format with lots of empty space to give room for creativity. Nano Banana has put this to good use and added more buildings and people which fit in well in the composition. On the other hand, Sea Dream is looking very empty either side, and the clouds are actually also looking very odd. So for this one, I would go for the Nano Banana. And finally, let's test out some architectural drawings. And here I prompted create a front elevation for this reference building. The results are interesting. Sea Dream again is doing what it does best, which is doing different angles of the same building. Not as a drawing, but as a rendered elevation, it is excellent. Now Nano Banana actually created a more architectural drawing style, with white background and level lines even. This is more of what I was expecting when I asked for an elevation, and it is very impressive. So once again, for consistent angles, go for Sea Dream, but for drawings and plans, I would choose Nano Banana. And as for summary, positives of Sea Dream are that it has a much higher resolution output at 4K. It's amazing at creating different camera angles from all sides and generally good prompt adherence. 
In addition, it can generate diagrams without any references, as it is an image generator as well and can draw from the internet. Negatives are that colors can be oversaturated, and it is pretty terrible at annotating and adding text to references. Also, the sketch to render is not as good as Nano Banana. And then finally, for architectural drawings, once again, Nano Banana does a better version of this. Now, if you want to try these for free, there are a few places you can go. The first is the Chinese AI site, Jimeng. You can use Google Translate for it to become English, and you can select CDream version 4. However, for this, you do need a Chinese mobile number to sign up. The site I do recommend is LM Arena. It is actually an interesting site where you can randomly compare two AI model generators together and they battle it out. But at the top, you can switch to direct chat and select from a huge range of AI models. Here is Gemini 2.5 Flash, aka Nano Banana. And in the usual manner, you can drag and drop in a reference image and add a plot. Once again, proving here that Nano Banana has excellent elevations. From this drop down, you can also find the Sea Dream 4.0. If you cannot see it, you might have to generate an image first, and then this model might pop up. You can then follow the same process for Sea Dream. So you can see that this model really likes to generate realistic views to reference from any angle. But this is still a very beautiful short elevation with fantastic dynamic materials and lighting. And then finally, don't forget you can also use Google AI Studio for free to try out Nano Banana natively. And before I end, if you want to use CDream with more control in relation to size, references, and ratios, you can use it via a cloud API. Here I'm using Replicate, but feel free to use any provider you like. It costs three cents an image. You can type in your prompt, drop in your reference image, and select 1K, 2K, or 4K, which is massive, your aspect ratio, and hit generate. And here we have the same artistic watercolor that we generated earlier. Both Seadream and Gemini 2.5 Flash are groundbreaking models. They have clear strengths and weaknesses as seen in the comparisons, so it completely depends on your use case which to use, especially since both companies will be improving their models over the months to come. Since there are three options to test both, try them out for yourselves and see what you can produce.